All right, guys, this is all about creating more. That's what this new year is all about. So I'm going to show you guys what I do to fuel myself in the morning to create uh, more energy and uh, eat well and keep myself uh, fit so that I can help others and stay healthy. So this is my go-to uh, meal, basically. Broccoli. Uh, this is also very frugal broccoli. I always uh, kind of run this under uh, a little bit of water to get it started. Uh, I like frozen broccoli as opposed to the fresh broccoli. One of the reasons I like that is because now these these harvesters, they like harvest the broccoli in the field, they wash it right there and they freeze it like on the on the actual combine. So uh, it doesn't, you know, you've, you've preserved all the nutrients and the freshness in the broccoli that way as opposed to stuff that's sitting cut already on the shelf every minute losing uh, nutrients. So that's one of the reasons I like that. I know people have, th some people have things against microwaves, but I've been doing this for years and I'm still alive. Um, so, the mic so I microwave that, I put a little bit of, um, of uh, water in there, use a ceramic bowl, a ceramic plate on top, and it steams the broccoli. So it's very quick, this is two minutes in this very low power microwave. Then I'm going to take some frozen blueberries and put those on top. Um, Again, frozen blueberries, they just, they're not as, they don't rot, you know, you don't have to like worry about the expiration date too much and all that. Um, here's, uh, usually I use um, canned um, ch chickpeas. Obviously, I've already opened this can, uh, but they're super, super cheap. This is like $1.19. The blueberries are the most expensive component. They're, um, I forget, like two thirty-nine a pound or two thirty-nine for this package, which actually is a pound. Sorry, twelve ounces. And um, can of beans, probably fifty-nine cents, sixty-nine cents at the most. Flaxseed, uh, normally a, bag, a pound is about three bucks. This one, I think I bought at Trader Joe's because we were there, uh, four bucks. But it'll last you for a long time. So, yeah, this whole meal, I'm using maybe a third of this maybe a fifth or sixth of this package, uh, maybe a, a half a can of beans. So the whole meal is gonna cost me like, I don't know, third, maybe between one and two dollars. So it's a really great way to start the day. I know it sounds weird. Okay, so why am I eating broccoli, blueberries, and beans? All right, so the broccoli, obviously, for the cleansing agents and the broccoli, the nutrients, um, you know, cruciferous vegetables, we can go on and on about how, what the benefits of the cruciferous vegetables are. But if you guys are, have any access to any kind of nutrition knowledge, you'll know that the broccoli is amazing for you. And I try to incorporate it in every meal. Blueberries are packed with uh, antioxidants and all kinds of lovely goodness. And you know, people are like, why would you do broccoli and blueberries? Well, I don't know if you ever like heard of the G-Bombs diet. The G-Bombs diet, um, this guy is really into like making your own... Um, so now you add the, by the way, now you add the um, blueberries and the uh, beans because, and you do it for another two minutes because if you put the blueberries in at the same time as the um, broccoli and you steam it all together, you're going to end up, the blueberries are going to shrivel up and they're going to have, it's going to be like nothing. So back in we go for two minutes. So anyway, this guy does the G-bombs diet. He, um. He talks a lot about making your own salad dressings. But the thing is, I don't want the extra calories from the oil. When I was trying to lose weight, um, you know, oil is packed with calories. I eat olive oil, any of these oils, coconut oil, they're all good for you, but uh, they got tons, like a tablespoon has like almost 200 calories. So, you know, I don't want to deal with that. And vinegar in the morning for my stomach, I don't think, you know, like it's just, that's too acidic for me. So, um, you know, there's all kinds of benefits for vinegars and things like that. But anyway, so instead of like making oil, vinegar, and adding a fruit as a flavoring, why not just add the fruit? All right. So that's where that evolved from. That's where that came from. And the beans, the beans will fill you up. Okay. Because if you just eat the broccoli and the blueberries by themselves, and also these have like all kinds of great micronutrients in them. There's all kinds of studies out there talking about the northern Italian diet. And uh, at first they thought it was the fish, and at first they thought it was the oil. But now they're finding out that the beans really have the the major, a major component of that um, 
type of eating is a, it's a major health benefit for them. So more beans in my diet. And they fill you up so like I can eat this and be full for a couple hours. If I eat this broccoli and blueberries, I'm going to like the sugar from the blueberries and the broccoli has, has fiber in it, but there's not, you know, it, the vegetables get processed in my body anyway pretty quickly. So I'm not going to be as full. The, the beans will give me the full component. So that's nice. And also there's vegetable protein in there too. So, uh, yeah. And then flaxseed. This is, you can go online and find out all about flaxseed. But uh, you've got, you know, fiber and, and nutrients. and Anyway, it's one of those superfoods. So, so here's the philosophy I had was, um, you know, uh, there's no cancer risk in my family. I don't have cancer, thank God. Um, but why not eat the, the diet of somebody who is, you know what I mean? Like when they, they diagnose people and they're like, okay, you have cancer. Now, what can I do? Well, you can change your diet. Um, why not do that now before you uh, develop the uh, symptoms, you know, the problems? And why not just adopt an anti- or a cancer preventative diet? So this is what it ends up looking like when you come out of the microwave and see the the blueberries have melted so it forms its own dressing. And it's amazing how quickly you will come to crave this. At least I did. Like, I can't even, like, think about a day of not eating this. If I don't eat this during the course of a day at least once, usually I eat it twice, um, I'm, I'm craving it. So it only takes your body... It, it seems like... I've heard it said somewhere that it only takes a couple weeks to form a new habit. Some people say two, some people say six, some people say eight. But uh, whatever it takes for you personally to form a new habit, you can do it. You can form new habits. I'm a testament to that because I was one of those guys that ate leftover pizza and that was my breakfast. And uh, now I'm a guy who eats broccoli, blueberries, and beans and flaxseed for breakfast. So um, easy to remember, three B's. You don't need the seeds if you don't like the seeds. Um, Hey, man, that's what I got. So uh, that's all I got today. If uh, you guys like this uh, video, please share it, subscribe, hit the like button, help me out. Uh, keep me uh, fit and uh, healthy and able to help you. And uh, do yourself a favor and go help somebody else today because it's going to make you feel good. So have a great day. If you want to help me, hit that subscribe button. Let's have a great new year. Take care.